Welcome everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Olotu Oyi. Uh, welcome to my channel if you're new. I want to thank you for the support that you continue giving me. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe on the videos and comment if you want to comment. So today I want to talk about um, double standards. So it's a normal response to have, just that you have to be aware of the double standards that you have. Uh, it's, it's the conditioning of the mind, it's how the mind functions. So I'll make an example, two examples. First one, you have your parent, your friend, a sibling, or a loved one, uh, a partner. So normally you love those people, right? And um, so when they do you wrong, sometimes you even forget that you're mad at them. So the first response when you see them, you're happy to see them and then you and then you start remembering that yeah i'm angry at you you did me wrong so that's the first response so your condition your mind is conditioned to the fact that you love them but when they do you wrong at times you may forget because you're used to behaving a, a certain type of way when you when you see them so second res second example is um a stranger most ladies will agree to this so a strange a guy comes up to you a stranger initially you're not you're not interested in the topic you're not interested in him you don't even want want to talk to him you don't even understand why he wants to talk to you or he wants to he wants to be your boyfriend but then over time you go on to think ah maybe he's not so bad not him he looks handsome or he's he's quite funny so that's the that's him feeding parts of himself into your mind and then your mind takes up those parts and then sort of like creates an image of him that you feel isn't so bad so that's conditioning of the mind so you see it's a it's a normal response to have double standards because when you look back you're like i never would have thought that i would date this person but now we're dating it's because first response is be defensive but then as time goes by you learn to you know to get used to the person and then you, you see less of the flaws that they have and then you appreciate what they are so those are the two two examples that i have of double standards you know sometimes you tell yourself okay i'm mad at you and then over time you start forgetting that you met at someone and then when they come back again you're like oh here you are but then you start remembering oh i'm mad at you and then you do you become set again so those are sort of like double standards but that's the that's not the main point the main point is the fact that your mind gets conditioned to something so i like i like i want to make this example because i like the fact that we've all related to the situation that has been happening with our current miss universe and the miss sa contestant so the miss sa contestant did wrong she apologized but how we took her apology wasn't the same as the way we took uh, Miss Universe's um, apology so that was because our mind is conditioned to the fact that Miss Universe is sort of like perfect so even if she apologizes we're like oh, yeah it's fine we understand we forgive you and then the Miss Contestant uh apologizes miss essay contestant apologizes but then our minds are like yeah you've been doing bad things to other people so you deserve it and your apology doesn't even count so those are double standards right because we have a certain perception about her so we link her her apology to those um to that aspect and then miss universe has a certain personality that we know of her and then we link her apology to that character right so we took the same apologies differently for both of them of which if we didn't have double standards we shouldn't we, sh we, sh we shouldn't be treating them differently so in the way our minds normally program is that there's either bad or good that's how we see but then we have the brain to process that there's a gray area in the in, in in the middle there's a 
a gray area between that's why you have to use your brain to say okay people are not perfect people do apologize and they need forgiveness people so people do need second chances you know people grow you have to accept that people grow even you yourself there are certain things that you did when you were young or maybe yesterday but you regret them as you grow older so those are the double standards that we have it's, uh, it's not to say it's we won't have double standards we all we all have double standards but it's the fact that you must be able to identify the fact that you have double standards and then you should function in the gray area between good and bad you know bring it to the understanding process things and then you know come up with your own reasoning to say yeah there's no one who's perfect not too there's no one who's too good there's no one who's too bad people change people have strengths and weaknesses so you try to bring it in the middle in that gray area you use your brain to think about that gray area you know you reason the fact that we do have double standards you know it's part of emotional intelligence that's just the tip of it that you are aware of the of the of the fact that you are a person with double standards but how you address it is way more important than having the double standards so that's how we took it and it's the the, the main the main lesson is in this is not the fact that they made apologies it's not even about them it's about the fact that we as people have double standards and we should be able to identify that we have double standards and we should address the fact that at times yes we may we're gonna feel a certain type of way but then we should always bring back our minds to the fact that maybe i reacted in a way that i have double standards you know you analyze yourself and then you apologize to yourself that okay yeah maybe i reacted in a wrong way and then i need to change my way of thinking and then you learn to accommodate other people we are not perfect in this world so i think that is the lesson i have we are not perfect we are people trying to evolve trying to be better let's not see other people as too perfect or too good let's try to bring them in the middle and then maybe you can teach other people as well to function like that uh thank you for watching please don't forget to like and comment uh see you on another video thank you so much